thing I want to ask. Um, we've seen the, the disproportionate impact that COVID-19 has had on Black and Asian and East Asian communities. Um, how many or what proportion of the contact traces that you have are from the BAME community? And why was the app trialed in the Isle of Wight, which is 97.3% white? And what can you learn from how best to communicate with ethnic minorities um, given that trial? Uh, let me take that second part of your question first. So the app was trialed in the Isle of Wight because we needed a location that was geographically distinct. So it was, uh, uh, the, the population of the Isle of Wight has been fantastic and I in no way wish to suggest otherwise, but it was about the physical geography of the island rather than the population. And you are absolutely right that in terms of giving us insight into how you access and inspire a, the broad variety of, of communities across the country, clearly the Isle of Wight on its own isn't going to do that. Nonetheless, what the Isle of Wight did teach us is that local community engagement is critical. Um, so in t to answer your first question, I'm actually rather embarrassed to say I haven't got that information and I will get it for you and send it to you as soon as possible. Um, the way that we have recruited our contact tracers, um, over 7,500 of them are returning clinicians. So doctors, nurses, dentists, other allied health professionals. I would um, assume, given the fantastic diversity in our NHS workforce, that a significant proportion of them will be from ethnic minority um, communities because the NHS workforce as a whole is very representative of the population. So I would assume that to be the case, but I haven't got the information, so I will get it to you very quickly. Um, and and it, it, that obviously needs validating, but that should be quite easy from the um, HR systems of our partners, uh, and I will share that. I completely agree with you about the importance of building a service that really does work for everyone. It's one of the reasons why we um, have launched the, um, the uh, why the government announced 10 days ago, um, the additional funding to help local governments build their local test trace and contain that. Because the way I think we will stamp out COVID in local communities is actually through local communities working together. Uh, and so it's important that we're providing that funding, but also that we don't think we're building a system that is entirely national. Actually, this is as much about local action and engagement and as a, a human as it is about national and technology. And it, it, we all need to play our part in the system. 